Welcome to Miss Michelle's Storytime. Splat says, Thank you, by Rob Scotton. Splat was worried that Seymour hadn't smiled all day. He was covered in spots and not feeling well. This isn't right, thought Splat. How can I make Seymour smile? Splat pulled a book from a drawer and showed it to Seymour. I made it for you, Splat said. I call it a friendship book. Splat opened the book. It began quite simply. Seymour sneezed. <coughs> Splat turned the page and began to read aloud. <clears throat> when I was scared to try out for the school play, you encouraged me to do it anyway, said Splat. Thank you. And when Mrs. Wimpy Dimple gave me the lead role, I couldn't have learned my lines without you. Thank you, Splat continued. And when I laughed so hard at Plank that I forgot my lines, you helped me to remember them. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he was just about to smile. But he sneezed instead. <laughs> Splat read on. When I broke my mom's favorite ornament, you fixed it for me, said Splat. Except somehow, Mom noticed, and I had to have a bath and go to bed early. Thank you anyway. When I had my bath and got my toe stuck, you knew what to do. Thank you. And when I went to bed early, you sneaked me a flashlight so I could read my book, said Splat. Thank you. When I overslept the next morning, you woke me up so that I wasn't late for school, said Splat. Thank you. When I borrowed my brother's kite and we played for hours, you made it so much fun. Thank you, said Splat. Then when I climbed a tree to rescue my brother's kite and got stuck, you rescued me, said Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he had to smile this time. <laughs> But he hiccuped instead. Splat read on. When I pretended I was speeding through space in my rocket ship, about to be the first cat on the moon, and Spike passed me in a faster rocket ship and tried to become the first cat on the moon instead, you told me space cats never give up. So I didn't, continued Splat. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that Seymour was sure to smile this time. But Seymour scratched a tickly ear instead. So Splat read some more. When I told you my biggest secret, Shh. you didn't tell anyone else. Thank you. And when Spike gave Kitten a bigger Valentine card than the one I gave her, you knew how to make me feel better. Thank you. When Little Sis was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made her smile, said Splat. Thank you. And when I was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made me smile. Thank you. 
You are my smallest friend and my biggest, he added. And I just want to say... Thank you. Now that you've listened to the story and followed along, it's time to answer some questions. What was Splat trying to make Seymour do? How did Seymour help Splat with the school play? What did Seymour tell Splat when Spike passed his rocket ship? If you made a friendship book, what would it be like? Great job! We hope you had fun reading, listening, and thinking about the story.